Good job, everyone. Next letter sound. Ah. Ah. Next letter sound. Ah. 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 Good. And next one we have t. t. Again. T. t. Again. T. This letter says t. And the next letter that we have p. p. Again. P. p. Good work. Good following. And next we have E. E. Next we have E. E. Okay. And last letter. Mm. Mm. All right. Say it again. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's revise all. The first one says. Okay, our next activity using the letter sounds that we have just learned. We will try to find out if the certain picture or name of word has the sound. Again, what do we have here? We have here the sound, all right, for this first picture here. What do you call this picture? This is a picture of a sun. Sun. S uh, mm. Sun. Do, do you hear the sound from the word sun? Yes, sun has a s sound. All right. Good job. Let's move on to the next picture. We have here a picture of a van. 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 All right. Do you hear from the word van the sound? Do you hear from the word van the sound? Oh, of course we don't hear from the word van the sounds. You are right. The word van doesn't have the sound. Okay, well done. Now let's move on to the next slide. We have here a letter that says ah. Ah. Now let's see. If the first picture has an ah uh, sound, what is this picture? This is and. And. What are the sounds for the word and? We have ah, uh, n, t. Ah, uh, n, t. Now, do you hear the ah uh, sound from the word and? Yes, the word and has an ah sound. Now let's check the next picture. This is a pen. This one is a pen. Let's say the sound for the word pen. P, A, N. The word pen has P, A, Mm. Now, children, do you hear the ah sound from the word pen? Yes, the word pen doesn't have an ah sound. All right, we have here the next one. As we have learned, 
this letter has t sound. The sound of this letter is t. T. Say it again. The sound of this letter is t. T. Can we say it all together? T. All right. Now let's check if this picture has a t sound. What is this picture? This is a picture of an apple. 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 Can you hear the t sound from the word apple? No, we cannot hear the t sound from the word apple. That's great. Now, let's move on to the next one. Who can tell me the name of this picture? Yes, correct. The name of this picture is tree. This is a tree. Now, let's say the sound for the word tree. The word tree has sound t, r, e, t, r, e, tree. Now, do you hear the t sound from the word tree? Yes, of course. The word tree has t sound. Well done. So now let's have the next letter sound. The next letter sound that we have here, who can tell me the sound of this letter? Yeah, this letter says P, P. Can this letter says P, P. Let's say it again, P, P. This letter says P, P. Now, let's see if this picture has a P sound. This picture is a pen. This picture is a pen. Now, I'm going to say the sound for the word pen. Listen up carefully. The word pen has p, a, n. Again, the word pen has the following sounds. P, a, n. P, a, n. Pen. Do you hear the pass sound in it? Yes, the word pen has a pass sound. Brilliant, children. Now, let's move on to the second picture that we have here. Who can tell me what is this? Yes, that is a bag. This, this is a picture of a bag. Now, let's see. If we can hear the word p from the word bag. Sorry, if we can hear the sound p from the word bag. So let's say the sound for the word bag. B, A, G. B, A, G. Yes, you're right. Bag. Can you hear the p sound from the word bag? Remember the word bag has bag. Do you hear the p sound in it? Yes, we don't have the p sound from the word bag. Now let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? We have here the letter that says e. e. What do we have here? The letter that says E. Okay. Now, let's try to look at the first picture if it has E sound. This is a picture of a hat. And hat has the following sounds. A, t, ha, a, 
T. Hat. Do you hear the E sound from the red hat? Okay, the red hat doesn't have the E sound. You're good. Now let's move on to the next picture that we have here. Right? The next picture that we have here is an igloo. Igloo. Let's try to listen if we can hear the sound E from the root igloo. Eagle-o, eagle-o, eagle-o. Do you hear the E sound from that word? Perfect. Eagle-o has an E sound. Good job, children. And now let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? We have here a letter that says, mm, mm. Now, let's see if this first picture has mm sound. Who can tell me what is this picture? This is a picture of a bus. It's a school bus. So let's see if the word bus has mm sound. Now, I'm going to say the sound for the word bus. B, uh, s, b, uh, Pass. Now, do you hear the sound n from the word pass? Let's hear it again. B, a, uh, s. Do you hear the n sound from that word? No, we don't hear the n sound from the word pass. You're right. The word pass doesn't have the n sound in it. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. We have here a picture of a net. Net. Now, let's see if net has a n sound. I want you to listen carefully as I say the sound for the word net. The word net has n a t again the word net has a t net do you hear the n sound from the word yes of course the word net has n sound all right good job children now let's try blending the sounds to make a word and remember when we are blending sounds to make a word, you can use your hands, you can use your fingers. The thumb is the first sound. We can count the letter sound from each word by using our fingers. The first is the thumb, the first sound. Second is the middle, the pointing finger, the pointing for the second sound and the middle finger for the third sound our final sound for our CBC words. All right, this is an example. Look at the picture. The child is counting the sounds for each word. So the first one is the first sound, the thumb, followed by the pointing finger and followed by the third one. So let's try reading our words for today. As we have learned already the six letter sounds for this first group of letters that we have. So let's try reading. Follow my laser pointer. For this word, the dots represents the sounds. So let's count together how many sounds does this first word has. So the first word that we have is, let's count together, one, two, one, two. So this word has two sounds in it. Okay, let's say the first sound a t a t now this word has two sounds again say it a t can we say it even faster at at 
So what's the word now? The word is that, you're right. Okay, good job, children. Now let's move on to the next word. Our next word before saying the sounds, let's count how many sounds that it, does that word have. All right, this word has, let's count together. One, two, three. This word has three sounds. Again, one, two, three. And remember children, when we are reading, we have to say first, the first sound or the number one sound, okay? So for this word, let's say the sound together. S, ah, uh, again. S, ah, uh, Now let's say it faster. Sat. Sat. Now you can hear the word. What word is it? Sat. Of course, you're right. The word is sat. Very well done. Now let's on to the next word that we have. Let's count first how many sounds do we have from this word. One, two, and three. This word has three sounds. All right, let's say the first sound. H, A, T, again, P, A, T. Let's make it faster. Pa, T, Pat. Who can tell me the word? Yes, the word is Pat. Very good. Now let's move on to the next one. Count how many sounds again? One. Two, three. This word has three sounds. So let's say the first one. T. A. Again. T. A. Tap. Tap. What's the word, children? You're right, the word is tap. Well done. Now the next one. What do we have here? Oh, again, a word with three sounds because we have three dots here. Dots represents the number of sounds we can hear from each word. So let's begin. The first sound is s, a. What's the word? The word is sap. All right. Now let's move on to the next slide that we have here. Good job reading, everyone. Now I want you to say the sound with me. Let's see how many sound does this word has. Let's count together. One, two, one, two. So this word has two sounds. Let's say the first one. E. Eat it. It. So what word is it? This word is it. Good work. Now let's move on to the next. Still we have one, two. One, two. So this word has two sounds. Now let's say the sound together. E e is. This word is is. You are right. Fantastic, children. Now let's move on to this word. But before that, count first how many sounds does this word has. One, two, three. Good counting, children. One, two, three. So let's say the first sound. S e. S e. T. Sit, sit. 
you're right. The word is sit. Now, please don't forget to follow my laser pointer as I am pointing to the word. Now we have here another set, another set of words. The first one that we have has this sound. P, E, T. Again, P, E, T. Let's say it faster. P, E, T. P, T. P, T. What word is that? Can you hear the word now? P, T. P, T. Can you hear the word? Yes, the word is P, T. Very good. Next one. Who can tell me how many sounds this letter has? Let's count it. One, two, three. All right. This word has three sounds. Okay, let's move on. T, E, T, P, T. What word is that? T, P. Nice practicing reading, everyone. Okay, let's move on to the next word. So, this word again has three sounds. One, two, three. P, E, P. P, P. P. What word is it? Yes, the word is P. All right, next one. We have here e e c c. Who can tell me the word? Yes, you're right. The word is c. All right. Now for this word. We have only one, two, one, two, two sounds for this word. Now let's say the sound. Uh, so for today's reading practice, Still, we're using the short vowel sounds as highlighted in colors, different colors. All right, so who can tell me first? What do you see from this slide? All right, you see a van. Yes, there is a van. And there is a man also. And it seems that the man is catching some fish and there are fish also here around here. So let's try to read first the title of the story for the day. Please follow the laser cursor as I'm pointing to the word. Go fish, go fish. So the title of the story is Go Fish. Right? Let's read the first line. I will go with dad. I will go with dad. Next line. We will go in the van. We will go in the van. All right, we will fish, we will fish. We will get a lot of fish. We will get a lot of fish. Now, let's read it faster from the title. Go fish. I will go with dad. 
We will go in the van. We will fish. We will get a lot of fish. So who do you think is uh, he going with? He's going with his dad. And they will go in a van. Where are they going? They will go for fishing. And what do you think they will have or they will get? They will get a lot of fish. Now, who can count how many fish are there in the picture? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, four, and five. So five. It's a lot of fish. Maybe for a day. Okay, that's a good catch. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay. So this time, the short vowel sounds are no longer highlighted in colors. So let's try to read it without the highlights, okay? Go fish. I will go with dad. We will go in the van. We will fish. We will get a lot of fish. All right, good job, everyone. Now let's try to practice reading sentences with the highlighted short vowel sounds. All right. What do you think is this picture? This is a picture of a gift or a present. All right. Now for us to know who is this from, let's try to read the sentence. Mom will get this gift. Mom will get this gift. So we'll get this gift. Mom. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. What is it? What is this picture? Can you guess what is this picture? I guess it's a meal. Mm -hmm. Let's try to read the sentence. The cup has milk in it. The cup has milk in it. Oh, you're correct. It's a milk and the cup has a milk in it. All right, good job. Now, look at this girl. Where do you think she is? Okay, let's try to read the sentence for us to know. She is in the mist. She is in the mist. So where is she? She's in the mist. Okay. Now, get rid of this bad disc. Get rid of this bad disc. So if there's a disc that is already broken or not working, we can throw that one if it's not uh, useful anymore. And the last sentence here. What do we have here? Uh huh. Someone who's um, doing some exercise. All right. So let's see. Sam can lift it. Sam can lift it. Oh, Sam. This is Sam, and he can lift this barbell. So I think Sam is very strong now. Right. Okay. Now let's move on to the next sentence. Let's read sentence number six. He hit him with his fist. He hit him with his fist. Oh, two boys are here and the other boy hit him with his fist. Is it good to hit someone with our fist? No, I don't think so. It's good. We need to be friendly. Mm -hmm not a bully. Bullying someone or hitting someone is definitely not good. All right. Now here, what do you think is this one? 
we have here milk, eggs, ham, and plums. What do you think is this? Mm -hmm. I think this is a grocery list. When you go on shopping for food, you need to have a list so we will not forget anything that you need. All right, let's try to read a sentence. Milk is on the list. Milk is on the list. Oh, what is on the list? It's milk is on the, what else is on the list? Eggs also is on the list. What else? Ham. Ham also is on the list and plums. Plums. So these are the things that she or he wanted to buy in the grocery store. All right. Let's move on to sentence number eight. Is this man at risk? Is this man at risk? Mm. So is this man at risk? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, next sentence. Dan can lift the box. Dan can lift the box. Dan can lift the box. Oh, look at Dan, how he's doing. He can lift the box and he's using a, a wood for him to put the box easily to the van. All right, now let's try to look at sentence number 10. She is in the wind. She is in the wind. Where is she? She is in the wind. So look at this tree blown by the wind. It is bending, right? So the girl is in the wind. Okay, now we have here sentences with suffix s, meaning there are S from the words in the sentence. All right, let's read sentence number seven. Tom shuts the box. Tom shuts the box. All right, we will put only S from the verb if the, sent if the subject of the sentence is singular, meaning only one person is doing it. All right. The noun is only for a singular noun. So nouns can be a name of a person or animals or things. So in this case, it's a person, Tom. And Tom is only one, so Tom shuts the box. Tom shuts the box. Okay, next one. Jim hits the rim. Jim hits the rim. Jim hits the rim, okay, the rim of the basketball. So let's go into shut the ball. Okay. Next, number nine. Beth gets a cat. Beth gets a cat. What is Beth getting? Beth gets a cat. So this is a cat and Beth want to have it. All right, next picture. What do you see from here? Oh, it's a dog. What is this dog getting? For us to know, let's try to read a sentence. The dog gets a bath. Oh, the dog gets a bath. So the dog getting a bath. Mm -hmm. Lucky dog. Next one. What do you call this one? What do you call this animal? All right, this is a horse. Now let's try to read. The horse runs. The horse runs. Okay, and sentence number 12. What is the cat doing? 
setting. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The cat sits. The cat sits, right? You are correct. Cat sits. Now, the next story that we have is entitled, This is for. This is for. So there are some things that intended for someone. Okay. Now let's try to read and take a look at the pictures. For the first line, what is this one? This is a seesaw. Who could be the one using the seesaw? Let's try to read the sentence. This is for dad. This is for dad. So this seesaw is for dad. Now here, what do we have here? We have here a flower. All right. Let's see that this, this flower is for whom? This is for mom. This is for mom. So this flower is for mom. Now, how about this one? This is a storybook, right? So let's see who is this storybook for. This is for Beth. This is for Beth. So this storybook is for Beth. Now, here you go. Next picture is a picture of a cap. Cap. So this is for Tom. This is for Tom. This cap is for Tom. All right, next one. We have here a mat. So who is this for? Let's read the sentence. This is for the cat. This is for the cat. So this mat is for the cat. Correct. The next one. What are these? Flowers and there is a bone also. And there is a dog. So let's read the sentence for us to know what's happening in this picture. This is for the dog. This is for the dog. So what do you think is for the dog? Is it the flowers or the bone? Hmm. Of course, it's the bone because dogs doesn't mind with the flowers, but they love to have some bones. Okay. Now let's continue with our sentence reading practice for today. Now, still we are using here the short vowel sounds. John is fun of Rob. John is fun of Rob. So if they, John is fun of Rob, then maybe they are friends, they are not quarreling, they are not fighting, all right? Now here for the next sentence, let's see what do you think happens to this boy? The boy saw something and the boy was so scared. Yeah, or afraid. For us to know what is the boy seeing, let's read a sentence. He runs from the ghost. He runs from the ghost. Mm, so this is a ghost. And look, the boy is so afraid or scared with the ghost and he runs from it. Okay, next one. What do you see from this picture? It's a frog. And there are a sign. And where could this frog be? Okay, let's read the sentence. A frog is in the pond. A frog is in the pond. So where is the frog? The frog is in the pun. Next one. We have two men here. What do you think 
are they holding? They are holding some balloons, all right? And the first man in here with my laser pointer has how many balloons? Can we count it together? One, two, three. So this man has three balloons and the other man, let's count together how many balloons that this man has. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this man has seven balloons, right? Let's start the sentence first. That man has the most, that man has the most. So who has the most? Is this man has the most or this man has the most? What do you think? Yeah, the man with seven balloons has the most number of balloons, all right? Because seven is more than three. Okay, there you go. Now, before going or reading the next sentence, that set of sentences that we have, Please tell me the letter sounds for this one. Okay, so this is k and this is k. But when you can see this together in a word, these two letters has only one sound. So you will not say k, k, but you will say only k. One sound, k. All right, let's try to read some words with k sound. R, o, k. 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 So what's the word? R, o, k. Next one. S, o, k. 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 Now you can hear the word sock. Okay, let's move on to the next word. B a k back back back. So what's the word again? Back back. All right. Next one. S a k sa Sack. So what word do we have here? We have here sack. Sack. Next word. D a k. Dog. 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 So what word do we have here? Dog. Dog. We have here dog. Next one. Please follow my laser pointer as I'm pointing to the letter and or the word. L-a-k. L-a-k. Lock. Lock. So what do we have? Lock. Lock. All right. Next one. N-e-k. N-e-k. Neck, neck. So we have here the word neck. Next one, p e k, p e k, p e k. So what word is it? p e k. The word is p. So that um, you'll, you will know which letter or words I am pointing at. So for the first letter sound that we have for today is this k, k. So the first sound is k. So there are two letters here, but this two letters has one sound only. So if you can see both of these letters, it will create only one sound, k. K, K. Now I want all of you to write this letter 
and while writing it, you have to say the sound. Okay, write it down now and say the sound k, k. Right? K, k. Next letter, we have e, e. Again, e, e. Now, copy the letter and while writing, you have to say again the sound. E. Again. E. All right, there you go. For our next letter, we have here a letter whose sound is <sighs> Again, everyone, write the letter and say the sound while writing. Okay, again. Good job. One more time. Good. All right, let's move on to the next letter sound. We have here a letter that says er, er. So write the letter again, copy it, and say the sound. Don't forget, you have to say the sound while writing the letter. Again, follow the laser cursor. That's good. Next letter sound. What do we have here? Okay, the sound of this letter is mm. Mm. Can we say it again? Mm. Mm. Now let's write the letter and say the sound. Mm. Again, let's say it again, write and say it again. Mm. That's good. Now let's go on to the next letter sound. We have here a letter that says D. D. Again, d, d. Let's write the letter and say the sound. D, d. All right, there you go. Now, since we already know the letter sound, Let's move on to our next activity. So again, let's say the sound of this letter. This letter says, remember two letters together, but create only one sound. So this letter says, k, k. Again, these letters says, k, k. Now, I want you to look at the first picture we have that we have here. What do you see? This is a picture of an apple. This is a picture of an apple. Now I want you to listen carefully from the word apple. Let's try to see if we can hear the k sound from that word. Again, apple, apple. 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 Do you hear the k sound from the word apple? No. The word apple doesn't have a k sound. Next. Let's go on to the next picture. What do you see from here? All right. This is a cat. It's a cat. Now, Listen carefully as I say the sounds for the word cat. K -a -t. Cat. Again, K -a -t. Cat. Do you hear the cat sound from the word cat? Yes, the word cat has K sound. Now let's move on to the next letter sound. We have here a letter that says 
A. A. Now, let's try to look at the first picture. What's the name of this picture? This is a moon. Moon. Now, I want you to listen if the word moon has a sound. M o n moon. Do you hear the S sound from the word moon? No, the word moon doesn't have any S sound. All right, let's go on to the next picture. What do we have here? We have here a picture of an egg. Egg. Now listen carefully to the word egg. I'm going to tell the sounds for the word egg. 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 Now, do you hear e from the word egg? Yes, the word egg has an e sound. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? We have a letter that says. <sighs> we have a letter that says. <sighs> now. Take a look at the first picture. What do you call this? Right, this is an arrow. Arrow. Now I'm going to tell you the sounds for the word arrow. A, r, o, arrow. Again, a, r, o, arrow. Now do you hear the sound from that word? No. The word arrow doesn't have any sound. Now let's go on to the next one. What do you call this picture? This is a picture of a hat. Hat. Listen carefully as I say the sounds for this word hat. At. At. Hat. Do you hear the sound from that word? Yes. Hat has sound. You're right. Now let's move on to the next letter sounds as we have learned. This letter says er, er. Now let's take a look at the first picture here. This is rain. You are right. This is a picture of a rain. Now, I want you to listen to the word rain and carefully listen if the word rain has er sound. Rain. R -a -n. Rain. Again. R -a -n. Rain. Do you hear the er sound from that word rain? Yes, we can hear the er sound from that word. How about the second picture? What is this picture? This is a picture of a sun. This is a picture of a sun. Now, let's try to listen to the sounds the word Sun has a sun. Do you hear the root sound from the word sun? No, the word sun does it have an er sound. Well done, everyone. Now, the next letter sound that we have here is m. Mm. Again, mm. what do we have? Again, mm. now let's look at the first picture. What is this picture? This is a picture of a bird. Bird. Now, I'm going to say the sounds for the word bird. B, E, R, D. Again, B. E, R, D, bird. Do you hear the M sound from that word? Yes, we cannot hear the M sound from the word bird. Okay, 
How about the next picture? What do we have here? We have here the picture of a milk. Milk. Now I want you to listen again carefully to the sounds of the word milk. M e k. Again. M e k. Milk. Now. Can you tell me if you can hear the m sound from that word? Yes, the word milk has m sound. Perfect. Now, this letter that we have here in this slide has what sound? D. All right, this letter has d sound. Now, I want you to look at and follow my laser pointer. For this picture, what do you call for this picture? This is a picture of a tree, correct? Now listen, t -r -e, tree, again, t -r -e, tree. Do you hear the d sound for the word tree? Do you hear the D sound from the word tree? Mm, the word tree doesn't have any D sound. All right, let's take a look at this, uh, the other picture that we have here. What's this one? This is a picture of a drum. Yes, you're right, this is a drum. Now, I'm going to tell you the sounds the word drum has, all right? D, R, A, Mm. D, R, A, M. Now, listen closely again. D, R, A, M. D, R, A, M. So, what's the sound again for the word drum? D, R, A, M. Drum. So, do you hear the D sound from the word drum? No, the word drum doesn't have any D sound. Oh, really? Again, let's say the sounds for the word drum. D, R, A, M. Drum. So, the word drum has D sound. What do you think? Yes. The word drum has the sound. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's go on to the next part of our lesson. Since you already know the letter sounds, let's try to read some words made up of the sounds that we have learned. Okay. The first one that we have here is k sound. Again, k, k, all right. Now let's try to read some words made up of k sound. But before reading that word, I want you to count how many dots do we have here? Let's count it. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Okay, we have three dots here. And dots represent the sound. So this word has three sounds. We can hear three sounds from this word. I know you know the first sound. Let's say it. K, A, T. Again, K, A, T. Cat, cat. So we have here the word cat. All right, there you go. Now let's move on to the second word. 
I want you to count again. How many sounds do we have from this word? We have one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. So this sound, there are three sounds from this word. So let's say the first one, k, e, p. Again, k, e, p. Let's say it faster. K, p. Again, k, p. Can we say it even faster? K, p, k. Now you hear the word. What is the word? Kip. You're right. The word is kip. Now let's take a look at the next word that we have. Count the sounds. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Now let's say the first one. P, E, K. Again, P, E, k. Let's say it one more time. P -e -k. Let's say it faster. P -e -p -k. P -k. P -k. Now what's the word? The word is pick. Very good. Next word. Let's count again how many sounds do we have here for this word. One, two, three. So still, this word has three sounds. Can we say the first sound? S, a, k, s, a, k, s, a, k, s, a, k, s, a, k. We have here the word sack. Now, we are done with this first letter sounds group of words that contain the first letter sound that we have learned right let's move on to the second set of words with a sound all right let's begin counting how many sounds do we have from this word one two three again one two three this word has three sounds. Can we say the first sound? S, E, T. Again, S, E, T. S, E, T. Let's say it again. S, E, T. S, E, T. Now you can hear the word. What is it? The word is set. You're right. Now let's move on to the next one. Count the sounds first before reading it. One, two, three. Again, this word has three sounds. Let's say the first one. P, E, T. 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 What's the word? P, E, T. Okay, there you go. Now let's move on to the next word. Let's count the sound first. One, two, three, and four. Again, one, two, three, four. So this word has four sounds. Can we say the first sound? T, E. N t again t e t t n ten 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 t again ten t tent. So what's the word now? The word is tent. All right, there you go. Next word. Let's count the sounds. One, two, and three. So for this word, again, we have three sounds. Let's go on to the next uh, first sound. 
the word neck all right there you go the word is neck okay everyone now let's go on to the next letter sound and group of words that consist this letter sound so what do we have here again we have here so all the words that we have here has sound all right let's try to be the first one. E, ha, e, he, hen, hen. What's the first word? The first word is hen. Now let's move on to the second word. At, at. Let's move. At. Hat, hat, hat. So what do we have now? We have here the word hat, hat. All right, next one. Eep, 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 he. Again, heap, heap. So what word do we have here? This is heap. Good to go. Next word. He is. He is. Now you can hear the word. What is it? He he is. The word is he is. Now, let's move on to the next one. We have er, er. Let's try to read the words with er sound. Er, at, rat, rat, rat. Next one. Er, e, p, er, e. Reap, reap. What do we have? Reap, reap. What word is it? Reap. Now let's move on to the next word. R a n, r a n, ra n, ran. So what do we have here? Ran. Okay. Now next one. R -e -st. R -e -st. R -e -st. Let's make it faster. Rest. Rest. So what's the word? The word is rest. There you go. Now next one. We have here mm. Let's try to read slowly the words that has m mm sound. M e n me n men men. Next word. M a n m a n ma n man. Next one. M e Miss. Good to go. Next word. E. E. He. Him. Him. What's the word? Him. Now, next one. We have here the group of words that has the sound. Let's try reading the first word. D, E, P, D, P, D. Next word, D, A, D. 
dad, dad. Next one, p a d, pad, pad. And the last one, e d. Thank <laughs> you.